الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبتي في الله قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم And it shows us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al khaliq and his signs are beautiful and majestic. Qala subhanahu wa min ayatihi al layla wa nahar wa shams wa al qamar. لا تسجدوا للشمس ولا للقمر واسجدوا لله الذي خلقهن إن كنتم إياه تعبدون الله سبحانه وتعالى says and this shows the ربوبية الله And likewise, the uluhiyatillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارِ And from his signs is the day and the night. And the sun. And the moon. لَا تَشْرُ shams. Do not prostrate prostate the shams to the sun washjiru lillahi wala lil qamar nor the the moon washjiru lillahi aladhi khalaquhunna instead prostrate to Allah the one who created all of this in kuntum iyahu ta'budun if it is him you truly worship so if it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you worship and you're truthful about tawheedillah then you will prostrate to him and him alone subhanahu wa ta'ala that's tawheed ahabatafillah Ya Ibad Rahman. This is the Tawheed we're, we're talking to. This is the Tawheed we're calling the people to. Just direct your worship only to Allah. If you are one of those <coughs> people who testify that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ibn Abdullah is the last prophet and messenger then why is it that you would want to prostrate make sujood to anything or anyone besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how is it possible that a person can testify to the oneness of Allah and that he's the only one who created all of this he's the creator of the heavens and earth that he's the only one worthy of worship, but yet then they violate that worship. That's why Tawheed is the crux of the matter. Tawheed, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, is the call of Ahl Sunnah. And it is the call of the believers. There's no way that the true believer could want to compromise or abandon that call. And if we construct all of our da'wah activities with the objective 
of that da'wah being a means to calling to Allah alone, calling people from dhulumat al nur then there's no doubt we'll have achieved the supreme success in da'wah and we'll have met the divine objective. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all of this with wisdom. He subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> says fi kitab al-kareem wa ma khalaqtu al-jinn wa al-insa li yabudun I have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. So ahabbati fi Allah our objective is Tawheed, exalting the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, exalting Allah, exhorting people to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to gain success fi dunya wal akhirah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and help us to overcome our own shortcomings in sin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam